Thank you for joining me. As you see, my topic is about don't ask if. And I'm going to tell you what I'm talking about. Um, and it has a lot to do with love, sex, romance, money. So I want to just talk about that really quick. And then we're going to get into your uh, uh, questions and what you, your thoughts about what's going on right now. So I hope all is well. If you know anyone that needs any help, please continue to share. And I thank you for my likes and follow and being a part of the Love Dr. Pamela Smith Show. Okay, so let's, let, let me go right into this. Now, what do I mean when I say don't ask if? And it means don't ask if you're not able to, right? Not able to love someone at this moment, not able to uh, uh, have a, a sexual relationship, not able to provide financially, or don't know how to be romantic, you see what I mean? I'm going, I could go on and on. If you're not able to provide those same things to that person, why are you seeking to have more within a relationship? And this is why some people have the issues that they have in relationships because it's, it's, it's called a selfish side. You want it your way, um, you like things your way or you feel that a person needs to do more within a situation. Now, the, the whole point of, it, of, of not of that meaning is if you're not able to provide a, a part of, of self, right? Uh, a part of, of uh, who you are, what you like. Um, why are you going into a relationship? Why are you going in trying to love somebody or be with somebody? You don't even know. You're not even really ready uh, to to go into that type of relationship. So why do you? You know. So I I kind of wanted to um, talk about that real quick because we were talking about romance, and some of you sent me um, some questions and emails and DM about um, what you felt that should go on in your relationship, but. These are the things you weren't able to provide. And so when you're not able to provide a person as the same as they can provide for you, then it's, it's not time for you to be in a relationship. I mean, because your, your expectation for that type of relationship is, you know, you, you, you want certain things and you want them to be a certain way. Yeah, all of us are, all the time are seeking to... Uh, be loved, be happy, be excited um, to actually just bring someone into our lives. And sometimes, um, but because we have so much going on, especially stress, and that's one of the things I want to talk about, stress, is that you really don't, you're really not even focusing on a relationship because you got so much going on in your mind, you, you, you have so much that you're trying to handle and deal with, so why do you why do you even have that type of expectation? You know, why you think uh, someone else should give you those things that are, are lacking? Um, and I'll give you an example. I had a, 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 a friend of mine call and said, first off, they were too, 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 <laughs> too old to be going up a damn tree. <laughs> Went up a tree and broke their hip, right? And... <laughs> Said, okay, well, I'm, I'm ready for a woman. How can you help me? What? <laughs> you looking for a woman now? <laughs> Wait a minute, now you just fell out of a tree, broke your hip, and now you looking for a woman that, that you can love or uh, that can love you, could have cared for you, provided for you, uh, been with you, enjoyed you when you were not hurt or injured. Now you're injured, barely can walk. Now you looking for somebody. Now, why would you think that someone wants to come into a relationship with you now? It just it doesn't add up. You see what I'm saying? So, this is to my men. Don't wait too long. Don't wait too long. Um, I. It, you know, I understand you, you want to meet someone that truly can uh, love you the way you should be loved. 
and you have the right to be picky and choose the type of woman you should be with. Um, all those things, I agree. But sometimes we can be too picky. Sometimes our expectation is too high. Uh, and this is why you're, 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 you're dealing in a, in, a, in a space of loneliness and, uh, and, and not having someone that you, you feel that you can have in your life. Because maybe you, you're seeking this, the wrong type of person. And so therefore you're saying, well, well I'm not meeting any woman that, that meets my standards. Uh, but maybe your standards could be too high or maybe, you know, you're looking for a certain type of woman in a certain type of place or a certain type of situation. And so, so, you know, those are the kind of things you need to, you know, check into and kind of think about it. But the reason I'm saying that is men, you have more stress uh, going on in your life. You have more um decisions that you have to make with what you're trying to do, what you want to do. And so, and I'm saying that to say, you know, think, just be more mindful and more relaxed in your choices and hope and, and give a person the opportunity and, and give them an opportunity with, with open mind. Um, because here's what's happening. And let's talk about that for a second. You, 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 we, we're losing a lot of people today. A lot of people are dying. It could, could be from the virus. It may not be. It could be from stress, you know. Um, it's from other diseases that they're not talking about. Um, and put that to the wayside. You know, you, we still have people dying from flu. We still have people dying from, um, cancer. We still have people... Um, dying from diseases and, and, and it's like that doesn't exist anymore. Um, we still, you know, need to understand why we get the type of sicknesses that we do. So here's what I'm going to give that's going to help a lot of people if you don't understand if you're not doing this. Um, one, everybody know definitely to drink more water. But some people would say, um, you know, not to drink alcohol or watch the alcohol the the uh, content of alcohol there's nothing wrong with drinking alcohol it's, it's it's if you're overdoing it you know so i'm not going to say not to do that because that's not harming the body what harms the body is stress and so that's why i'm saying find a, a person that makes you happy that makes you laugh and bring into your life but along with that you got to add some things that um make you feel better now here's one thing i think it's a slow killer and that's uh, fluoride so stop using toothpaste with fluoride in it kick it to the curb try to find toothpaste without fluoride um, watch who you're kissing uh, what you what they have to pass to you because uh, that's very important so you can be choosing when it comes to that <laughs> so um, you need to be taking a multivitamin you know something like liquid um, uh, um, they have liquids and chewable. I think it's better. Too many pills in your stomach can uh, harm you. So uh, get some multivitamins and try to take a, two tablespoons of uh, vinegar every morning. Helps purify the colon. Um, and try to eat more greens. Okay? So I'm just giving a few things that I feel is just simple to do. Uh, to help you live longer and feel better. But the main thing that's going to help you live longer and feel better is happiness and no stress. So if you are, those who are watching me now, feeling sad, feeling lonely, feeling empty, laugh. Watch something funny that makes you laugh, that changed the way you see life. Um, because it's a, it's, it's, it's a lot right now happening. And in today, this world is crazy. And so all we can do is laugh in the midst of us trying to make changes, trying to help make changes, um, trying to make the world a better place. So in the midst of that, you've got to laugh and you got to be happy. Well, I'm telling you, you got to be happy. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you all <laughs> got the volume <laughs> Uh, from last night and the reason why I didn't do my live a lot of you may didn't get a chance to see it but um 
you know, if you don't have a relationship or not ready for a relationship, seek it in a child, you know. Children make you laugh because they say the darnest thing. <laughs> and they will shock you every time, like, did, did you just say, you know, you just, you just have to, you know, bring that into your life. So I just want to talk about that. Now, let's talk about the money side. If you got any money issue, if you don't have money, don't ask nobody else about what they got. Because if you ain't got it, how are you going to talk about what they have? Okay? Sex. If you if your uh, men, especially my men, I get to my women, women next. My men, when you get to, uh, uh, to, to, to want to sex and have sex, when y'all have uh, male issues, y'all don't want to get things to enhance it. Please go get some Viagra. Uh, go get some enhancement pill. Go get something that's going to help you. Um, don't be, have that pride, you know, put that, wrap that pride up and move it to the side and satisfy your woman, okay? <laughs> I'm just giving you a hint, hint, clue, clue. <laughs> Women, if you are not, uh, uh, having issues at, and, and, and mainly men say that the women are dry, please go buy some lubricant. It is so easy and simple to go buy some lubricant at the store. It is not that difficult, okay? So, you all are bringing about issues that uh, can be simply solved, okay? If you want to have exciting sex, add some spice, go get some toys, you know, laugh a lot with your mate and do some crazy stuff that you normally wouldn't do, okay? And have excitement in your relationship. Now